When I was a kid, my family had a little brush with Hollywood and celebrities. You see, my mom's older brother, my Uncle Jack, had moved to Los Angeles to become a cartoon animator for Hanna-Barbera. While Jack was living in LA, he started playing hockey. A lot of hockey. And over time, Uncle Jack started teaching hockey schools and coaching hockey basics in Los Angeles. Eventually, Hollywood came knocking, and by the mid-1980s, Jack was being tapped as a consultant on hockey films. A lot of hockey films. There was Youngblood starring Rob Blow, Touch and Go starring Michael Keaton, all of the Mighty Ducks films, The Cutting Edge starring D.B. Sweeney, and television shows like MacGyver, Baywatch, and Roseanne, and many, many more. Not only was Uncle Jack consulting and training on these projects, but he seemed to always get some screen time as well. The coach, the assistant coach, the referee a lot of the time. The family was always thrilled to see Jack show up in movies, TV shows, or in commercials. To talk about some of his experiences in Hollywood and hockey, Jack White joins me on the telephone. Hello, Jack. Oh, geez, nice to hear your voice. Not bad. I wanted to ask you about some of your experiences working with Michael Keaton. Okay. I know that you worked on a film with him in 1985-86, I believe it was, Touch and Go. Yeah. And was this before Michael Keaton was a superstar? Was he on his way up at that point? No, he just did Mr. Mom and Night Shift. Okay. So he was hot. In fact, I asked one of the crew members, what's it like for a guy who's that big? And he said, well, usually what happens when they have two big hits, you know, when they hit it that big, then they relax. They kind of come back to, to being normal a little bit. They realize it's just what it is. It's the job. Yeah. And, uh, but Michael... He was a, a great guy. In fact, uh, when I trained him, it was hard because, first of all, it was the first movie I did like that. Yeah. And I'd like to have done that maybe four or five movies later Yeah. when I knew more about getting a guy ready. But he hung in, and what I did, I always had somebody with him. Do you remember Mike Kelly used to be around? Yeah. Yeah, well, Mike, uh, Mike Kelly was with him, and I we had a deal. I said, Mike, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a little sign, which means, hey, can we do it again? Because they'd be pushing nets and be doing all this stuff to get them ready in a hurry, right? Yeah. And uh, I remember he'd be out on the ice, he'd be skating around. We had these little plastic cones, and I would just flip them at his head. And the whole idea is to get him to get his head up. Yeah. And so, but he took it all, and it was about halfway through. I think we had about six weeks to train him. I think he kind of hit the wall. He took a weekend and went to Mexico to kind of recover. <laughs> And then said, okay, I'll keep going. So he came back and he did it. Yeah, and uh, what was so neat about him is he was one of the guys. In fact, we filmed the airport sequence in San Jose. And while we were there, he uh, he just wanted that we had to shoot early in the morning a bar scene. Right. And he just wanted to hang out with the hockey guy. So awesome. So he become a hockey guy. So hey, had he made like, Beetlejuice at that point, Jack? Do you remember? That had to come after. Okay, he right after. Oh. Beetlejuice, so. When we finished the film, he kept on playing hockey with us. Okay. In fact, we, we took him to Tucson. We played a charity game there, and we had Eric Nestorenko. I don't know if you remember that name, but yeah. he was a an old pro and a tough, gnarled type guy. And uh, in fact, he was in Young Blood. He played the dad. Remember how well he skated? Well, I mean, it, it wasn't hard for him. No way. So any, but we're in the room, and uh, Keaton had gone out of the dressing room for some reason. We're in there, and he's going, who is this guy? This guy can't skate, can't shoot. What the hell is he on the team? <laughs> and Keaton came in, and he heard him say that. He goes, you know what it is? Guys, I don't know what it is. I can't shoot. I can't skate. I just seem to be bringing something special, which meant, yeah, yeah, I'm a goddamn celebrity. What are your memories yeah. about coming back to Windsor with that film and premiering it at the old Odeon? Uh, at the river. Oh, it was fantastic. I mean, you know, they had the billboard up. June just took care of that, you know, and I don't know what you remember, but on one side it said Touch and Go starring Jack White. I remember that, yeah. And, and so I took that back, a picture. I said, Michael, in my hometown, I'm big. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a laugh. That's all I cared about. You, you took that to Michael Keaton? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, buddy, you know? That is, yeah. that is really funny. I remember that, too, vividly being a kid, and they had uh, players from Windsor Minor Hockey come there with their, their hockey sticks, yep. and they held them above our heads as we walked in. That's right. Yeah. Now, the key thing about being in, in there for that film was anybody that was there, people that knew me, anytime I, I wasn't on the screen that much, because it wasn't about me, but anyhow, anytime yeah. I was on the screen, people would turn around and laugh. Yeah. As they looked at me, like, you know, because it's sort of, How'd you get away with that one? And, and, and the directors probably liked you, and you got you got some screen time, man. That's awesome. That's right. 
that's what you do. You find a way to get in. Because if you don't, then you, you lose the moment. Had he ever been on skates before, Michael Keaton, when you started teaching him nope. the ropes of hockey, no? Nope, nope. Where did he grow up? That he, or he's just American? Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. And we would go back to play uh, charity games in Pittsburgh, and there was a little bar he knew they liked a lot, we would go there and, you know, we just take over the place. Huge party. Now, whether I told you this story or not, but first job in the business for uh, Michael Keaton, you know what it was? No. On Mr. Rogers. <laughs> in Pittsburgh. So when, we, when we went to Pittsburgh, all the people that were sort of local TV types came out for the game. Wow. So he, he was very inclusive about that kind of stuff. And, okay, and then... <laughs> And now I've been training Michael, right? So, you know, you do the bonding thing. And yeah. he, uh, one night he goes, uh, oh, he came in, we're, we're working out of the rink out of Pasadena. But anyhow, he goes, oh, I'm going to be right back. I'll get you guys some sandwiches. You know, went out, didn't take his skates off. So oh. his new nickname was Sparky. Because he couldn't skate anymore. Skates were all screwed up. Always great talking to you, Jack. And next time I would love to hear more stories about the Mighty Ducks films. Plus, I know you have a ton of Windsor stories from growing up here. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks again. 